off and running in the Schurholm Mercedes-Benz three-mile Novus hurdle. Cutting up to five runners, taken along in the early part by the favorite Hidden Valley Lake. Showing in the lead from the two maidens, Search for Glory, Monty Star, at the back of the field, Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. Both mares, a little bit off the first three, who turned in for the first of 14 flights. Hidden Valley Lake, the leader from Search for Glory, Monty Star, stable companion of Hidden Valley Lake, then Granny Larry, the red cap, and with the nose band, Kalanisi Dove, as they come to approach the first flight. Hidden Valley Lake in front of Search for Glory, Monty Star, Granny Larry, Kalanisi Dove, as they link up with their first flight. On to number two. Hidden Valley Lake, tracked by Search for Glory, Monty Star, Granny Lowry, the second big outsider, and the outsider of the five, Kalanisi Dove, last of the quintet. Two circuits to race, another 12 flights left to jump. In the lead is Hidden Valley Lake, out to protect his undefeated record for connections, leads a length and a half, search for glory, almost joined for second by Monty Starr, then Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Doe. Order and change, going uphill to flight number three, Hidden Valley Lake in front of search for glory, Monty Starr, Granny Lowry, Kalanisi Doe. They have three flights behind them. As they swing a right to the first of the flights up the far side, Flights four through to six, Hidden Valley Lake by length to search for glory, half a length in front of Monty Star. Much closer at the back, both Granny Larry and Kalanisi Dove. Over the first of the three up the far side. Still no changes from first to last. It's Hidden Valley Lake lobbing along a length and a half in front of search for glory, Monty Star, Granny Larry, Kalanisi Dove as they race the end of their first mile. In front is Hidden Valley Lake by a couple of lengths to Monty Star joining Search for Glory for the second spot, then Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. Flight number six, taking them back to their departure point, Hidden Valley Lake, Search for Glory, followed by Monty Star. Two and a half lengths back to Granny Lowry with the back marker, Kalanisi Dove. Racing the end of the first circuit, it's Hidden Valley Lake and Rachel Blackmore by length to search for glory, Jordan Gainford. Just in second place from Monty Star, the mound of Sean Flanagan, three lengths back to Granny Lowry and Jack Doyle, fifth of the five, Kalanisi Dove and Kevin Sexton. Making the downhill run for the approach to the straight the second time. Hidden Valley Lake enjoys an advantage of less than two lengths. Search for Glory and Monty Star, little between them for second and third, and then Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. Back in they come for these two flights before heading out on their final circuit. They're almost at halfway in the Schurholm Mercedes Benz three mile Novus Hurdle. Hidden Valley Lake, Monty Star. Search for Glory up the inside, then Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. Up the first hurdle in the straight, Hidden Valley Lake. Search for Glory, Monty Star. Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. This will be the last flight next time round. Seven from the finish, Hidden Valley Lake. Search for Glory, Monty Star. Couple of lengths to Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. One circuit more to complete as they go up to the bend, six flights left to jump. Hidden Valley Lake, winner of a December grade three, makes the bend a length and a half in front of Search for Glory and Monty Star, Granny Larry, and Kalanisi, though the final couple. Order still unchanged at the sixth last flight. Hidden Valley Lake yet to be headed. Search for glory on the inside in the maroon and white. The starred colors of Monty Star, and then Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. A mile to go, 
Five flights left to jump. Hidden Valley Lake, gathered in by Search for Glory, who's now within half a length. Three parts of a length back to Monty Star, two in front of Granny Larry, and a length to Kalanisi, though. Hidden Valley Lake joined by Search for Glory as they shift on by two and a quarter lengths to Monty Star. Granny Larry and Kalanisi Dove. Middle flight up the far side and landing together. Hidden Valley Lake and Search for Glory. Followed by Monty Star, Granny Larry and Kalanisi Dove. Third last flight coming up at the top end of the back straight. Hidden Valley Lake and Rachel Blackmore, the fractional leaders from Search for Glory and Jordan Gainford, who jumped it better than Hidden Valley Lake. Two lengths to Monty Star and Sean Flanagan, both in touch. Granny Larry, Jack Doyle, Kalanisi Dove, and Kevin Sexton. Half a mile to go, good run to the second last flight. And just in front is Hidden Valley Lake from Search for Glory. Poised a length behind them, and third is Monty Star as they break four lengths clear of both Granny Lowry and Kalanisi Dove. Just over three furlongs to race and two flights to jump. A length and a half covering the three up front. Hidden Valley Lake with on either side search for Glory and Monty Star, followed by Kalanisi Dove who relegates Granny Lowry to be last of the five as they spin into the straight to the final two flights. Hidden Valley Lake from Monty Star around the outside on the inner. Pushed along is Search for Glory. The three are in a line, heading down towards the second last. Monty Starr joins issue with Stable Companion, Hidden Valley Lake. Search for Glory is trying to stick with them on the inside. They're out in front of Kalanisi Dove. The second last flight, Hidden Valley Lake and Monty Starr. A dive by Hidden Valley Lake. Monty Starr's not done with on the near side. In between the final two flights, Hidden Valley Lake and Monty Starr. There's nothing between them. Search for Glory is trying to fight back inside the final. 100 yards, Monte Star from Hidden Valley Lake. Monte Star just getting on top as a maiden turns into a graded winner of the Sure Hall Mercedes Benz Stairs Novice. Beating off a persistent stable companion, Hidden Valley Lake, and search for glory on top of them on the inside. Henry de Bromhead is just enhanced. There's already good record in her feature event, the Sure Hall Mercedes Benz Novice Hurdle. 1 2, Henry, many congratulations. Thrilling finish, really good performance by first and second, to be fair. You were getting, uh, Monty Starr was getting six pounds off Hidden Valley Lake. Yeah, absolutely. I thought they both ran really well. Uh, yeah, Monty's was good. Uh, Sean gave him a super ride. He just, uh, obviously, he's quite immature, and, you know, so he decided to just follow away. Um, and uh, he toughed it out really well, you know. He's, he, yeah, in fact, you know, um, uh, the Maloney's were very keen to come to this race. They have a great record in it, and First delighted for that. half brother Manali a few years ago. Yeah, absolutely, and got beaten within, though. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, they, they, yeah, they were really keen to come, and uh, yeah, delighted. Yeah. Tactical run affair is what it looked like beforehand as yeah. well. It didn't suit any of the first three home, really. To be fair, did it? Yeah, probably not. You know, and I'd say uh, Rachel just felt her lad struggled on the ground a bit, uh, but he still ran really well and he toughed it out. And look, he's he's a very nice horse as well. So uh, delighted with both of them. And of course, the winner. He's a six-year-old. He's a, a bit of a slow burner. He two runs a pint of pints. Colin Boy, yourself and the Maloney family picked him up as a store horse. That was only what his third run over hurdles, first run over the trip as well. On the roads. Yeah, absolutely. He um, he's taken a lot of time. They've been really patient with him, but they've, we've done it the right way by him. We feel, and yeah, look, hopefully that will be rewarded now. He's he's a massive horse. He, you know, he came here weighing 570 kilos, like he's a big fella, and um, and probably still filling out filling out his frame. Yeah. And he will come on from it as well because he was still a little bit immature a little bit green he was a bit keen in sean's yeah. hands and yeah. had a little run around a little look at things as well yeah absolutely yeah big baby you know as you say that's what his second run over hurdles third run on the track colin Bow did a great job with him as a young horse but uh he just um he was just so backwards you know and as a, the lads have been so patient with him and uh, you know those big store horses they just need a bit of time yeah and that ground is quite testing out there. You see the jockeys coming back in, the horses, there's clay in their heels, the jockeys yeah. are spotless. Yeah. It's just very deep really, holding tacky yeah. ground, isn't Horrible it? Horrible ground, yeah, it's, it really is in fairness. So um, yeah, he seemed to cope with it really well. And I'd say the other fella just struggled on it a bit. Um, and uh, he just never looked that happy on it. I'd say he'd be better on, on looser or, or slightly nicer, yeah. Both horses are in the Albert Bartlett, all things being equal, both of them will still go there? 
Yeah, I mean, it's subject to everyone wanting to do that. I, I couldn't see any reason not to, you know. Uh, I've, I've, you know, we can make Monali won it and, and was beaten in the Albert Bartlett and Indo was second and won the out. So, yeah, like you can make a case, hopefully, for both of them. So I'd be keen for them to go. And, um, yeah, look, it's a blip for the other lad, uh, but he's given away six pounds and, uh, and he still toughed it out and ran really well. So, yeah, look. Delighted with both of them, to be honest. You have to have this race running your name now after this. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, Monopoly on it now. Well, we've had a bit of luck in it. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah, <laughs> Chantreuse won it last year, and yeah, Chris's dream, and yeah, Monalee, like I say. So yeah, no, we've had a bit of luck, and uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's great. We'll take them when we can get them. Good stuff. Just a quick word about the filly. She followed quite tamely in the maiden. Yeah, she was she? very disappointing. Mm. Yeah. You know, she's probably regressed from her first run. She's a big mare, and. Uh, my gut feeling is probably just um, uh, pull the plug with her for this year and let her develop a bit more. She's a nice mare. She's done, you know, nice bits of work. And even her first run was a good run, but she just seems to have regressed from there. To be plenty of other days. So her, but well done today. One, two in our feature event, the Sure Hall Mercedes-Benz Grade 3. Look forward to seeing him in Cheltenham. Well done. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.